Welcome back to Quantum Yogi Wisdom. The first lunar eclipse of this year is occurring on the 25th of March, and the portal is opening. There's a huge amplified energy out there now, and as you approach the 25th of March, it's going to peak. The alignment of celestial bodies is such that this lunar eclipse will impact your upcoming seven months. It all depends on how you enter and how you are on the day of the lunar eclipse. It can be a tough seven, eight months if you enter this day with low vibrations. So it's very important for you to enter the lunar eclipse and full moon on the 25th of March as a high vibrational being. In this video, I'm going to tell you the significance of the lunar eclipse and the ritual to do until this day so that you can enter the lunar eclipse and manifest your desires extremely fast. So please feel free to share this video with your loved ones and consider liking and subscribing to our channel. This will help the YouTube algorithm to share this video's reach to a maximum number of people who need to see this message. This video is going to be very important so pay very close attention. A lunar eclipse can only occur during a full moon. During a full moon the sun, earth and moon are approximately aligned in a straight line, not perfectly. But during a lunar eclipse the sun, earth and moon are more precisely aligned in a straight line. This alignment is necessary for a lunar eclipse to occur because it enables the Earth's shadow to fall onto the moon, causing the eclipse. So, while during both a full moon and a lunar eclipse, the sun, earth and moon are aligned, the alignment is more precise during a lunar eclipse. There's a common belief that lunar eclipses bring bad luck or negativity. Let me know in the comments if you have heard people saying that. Well, it's not entirely true. We receive only creational energies from the universe during events like ellipses, but it's our thoughts and feelings that create our reality. If you think something bad is going to happen, it will happen. If you think something good will happen, it will happen. It's not the universe projecting negative energy onto us, but rather our perception framing it as such based on the things we hear. Using the amplified creational energy of the lunar eclipse, you have the capacity to manifest both positive and negative outcomes. Keep in mind that you're only receiving the creational energy. However, channeling it effectively is an action that originates from your end. During and as you approach a lunar eclipse, if you stay in a high vibrational state, you will receive high vibrational results amplified into your physical reality. Similarly, if you stay in a low vibrational state, you will receive low vibrational results into your physical reality amplified. It's as simple as that. During a lunar eclipse, the precise alignment of the sun, moon, and earth results in the heightened intensity of the creation energies we receive compared to a regular full moon. This alignment of the sun, moon, and earth holds profound symbolic significance across various cultural and spiritual traditions. I always talk about masculine and feminine energy in my videos. The masculine energy pushes outside itself, whereas the feminine energy draws into itself to initiate the creative process. With this action, the masculine force impresses upon the feminine energy the idea or the blueprint of the element to be created. The feminine energy in turn receives this blueprint, absorbs it, assimilates it, and gives birth to it later. It builds the blueprint provided by the male force. This is the process of creation in all planes. Just as the sun is considered masculine and the moon feminine, your conscious mind holds the masculine aspect while your subconscious mind embodies the feminine counterpart. And the masculine energy of the sun illuminates and aligns in a straight line with the feminine energies of the moon. And the earth finds itself in the middle during a full moon. A powerful alignment of celestial forces occurs. This alignment infuses the earth with potent creational energies, creating a moment of heightened manifestation potential. During a lunar eclipse, when the earth's shadow falls upon the moon for hours, it is considered an auspicious time for sending intentions thoughts and manifestations to the lunar body. This period is perceived as a sacred window of opportunity, where the Earth acts as a conduit for channeling intentions toward the receptive and transformative energy of the Moon. The lunar eclipse represents a profound union of masculine and feminine energies, with the Earth serving as the bridge between these cosmic forces. As the Earth's shadow envelops the Moon, it is as though a veil is lifted revealing a portal through which our intentions can be transmitted to the deepest layers of our being and the universe. During this time, intentions sent to the moon have the potential to manifest into physical reality at an accelerated pace. The Earth's shadow acts as a catalyst, 
amplifying the potency of our thoughts and desires as they journey through the lunar realm, ultimately materializing into tangible experiences and outcomes in our lives. Just as the moon is often associated with feminine qualities such as intuition, receptivity, and the nurturing aspects of creation, our subconscious mind possesses similar qualities. Now pay very close attention. When we imprint our intentional thoughts onto the subconscious mind with belief and accompanying emotions, we effectively plant seeds of manifestation. These seeds, nurtured by the fertile soil of our subconscious, have the potential to grow and blossom into tangible experiences in our physical reality. This is why Neville Goddard said, feeling is the secret to manifestation. This feeling gets amplified during the precise alignment of the sun, moon, and earth, which results in faster manifestation. The subconscious mind, like the feminine energy of the moon, serves as a receptive vessel for our intentions, shaping and influencing the course of our lives. During cosmic events such as a lunar eclipse, which are imbued with feminine energies, the amplification of these qualities becomes particularly pronounced. Just as the alignment of the Earth, Moon and Sun during a lunar eclipse creates a powerful energetic convergence, so too does it amplify the feminine energies present on Earth. Activities and energies associated with the feminine, such as intuition, creativity, emotional expression and nurturing, are heightened during this time. You will start seeing repetitive numbers like 1111, 888, etc., and witness a lot of coincidences. Let me know in the comments what numbers you see the most. As the celestial alignment of a lunar eclipse approaches, the amplification of subconscious behaviors and influences becomes a significant consideration. Drawing parallels between the heightened feminine energies of the eclipse and the qualities of the subconscious mind underscores the importance of mindfulness in navigating this cosmic event. Just as the moon's feminine energy magnifies receptivity, individuals may find themselves more attuned to the subtle nuances of their subconscious mind. Consequently, vigilance in monitoring the quality of thoughts and emotions becomes imperative to ensure alignment with desired intentions and manifestations. The practice of mindfulness also ensures alignment with intentions and goals amidst the cosmic energies of the eclipse. By consciously directing focus towards positive outcomes and embodying the energy one wishes to attract, individuals enhance their capacity to manifest desires. This deliberate alignment of thought and action cultivates a harmonious resonance with the creative forces of the universe, facilitating the realization of aspirations and intentions during this potent celestial event. Now let me explain to you a manifestation ritual that will put you in a high vibrational state as you approach the full moon and the lunar eclipse. You can start this ritual from the day you watch this video. There are three steps in this ritual and you can do it any time during the day or night. But the first step in this ritual is something that you have to do it all the time till the 25th of March. The first step is to be conscious of your thoughts and actions, how you feel about things and people around you. Stop complaining about something or someone. Stop dwelling on the past. Stop listening to sad songs. Being conscious of our thoughts and actions leading up to a lunar eclipse serves as a powerful tool for raising our vibration and eliminating negative feelings, particularly in alignment with the insights shared previously. As the heightened feminine energies of the eclipse amplify our sensitivity and receptivity, Mindfulness becomes instrumental in navigating the influx of cosmic energies and internal stimuli. As we approach the lunar eclipse, the practice of mindfulness enables us to consciously choose thoughts and actions that uplift and inspire us. By redirecting our focus towards positive possibilities and desired outcomes, we shift our vibrational frequency towards a higher state of resonance. This deliberate alignment with positivity and optimism facilitates the dissolution of negative feelings allowing us to embody a more harmonious and elevated energetic state. Furthermore, the act of visualizing best-case scenarios and desired outcomes during the manifestation ritual serves as a potent antidote to negative feelings. The second step is to grab a paper and write down the 25 things you're genuinely grateful for. This could be the things you already have, or a relationship or any basic needs that you have in your life. You have to bring a genuine feeling of gratitude from inside as you write it on the paper. Feeling is also a channel that connects you with the universe very fast. Gratitude is the fastest way to raise your vibration so that you can attract the life of your dreams. When you express gratitude, the divine responds saying, 
I'm pleased you appreciate it. I'll send you even more. In fact, I think you'll like this even more. The more gratitude you have, the more abundance you attract. Gratitude helps you to stay in a high vibrational state. When you're in a high vibrational state, you receive only high vibrational results into your physical reality. There's no other way. The third step is to begin writing down the three things you want to manifest in the coming months. These could be goals, intentions, or desires. Whatever your heart truly longs for. Write it down in the present tense and feel as if you have already achieved it. Be specific and positive and use the present tense to create a strong resonance with the universe. For example, instead of writing, I want to be rich, write, isn't it wonderful that I don't have to check my bank balance to buy whatever I want? Just writing it down doesn't help. You're writing affirmations to get a feeling out of it. You have to feel it as if it's really happening. Writing things down is important because it helps you hold on to the emotions and thoughts for a longer time. The more you hold on to your feelings, the faster the manifestation with the cosmic support from the universe. Do this ritual every day and hold on to all the papers until March 25th. I'll suggest rituals for the full moon and lunar eclipse nights in my upcoming videos. On the day of the lunar eclipse, you can burn all the papers together as an act of letting go and sending it out to the universe. This ritual will help you to enter the full moon and lunar eclipse as a high vibrational being, and soon you will start receiving only high vibrational results. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, make sure you do so that you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And yes, like this video and share it with your loved ones so that this message can reach a maximum number of people who really need to hear this. Thank you again, and I will see you in the next video.